the world of explainer videos, everybody's talking about that magic one minute limit. Explainer videos shouldn't be longer than that. But how to write like that, that simple, that short? Hi, I'm Jente Kater from Voicebooking and in this video I have four writing tips to keep your voiceover script under one minute. One, less isn't always more. Yeah, less is more, writing is editing, kill all your darlings, etc, etc. Well, you know, it's, it's all true, but you can also take it too far. Words that tie sentences together like and, so and therefore, they make a voiceover recording flow. Leaving those words out, yeah, then the tempo will slow down. It's a bit of a strange thing, but it will slow down. So don't leave words out simply because you can. Tip number two, the raw audio version is often too long. Version one of your voiceover script. Everything that you had in your head is now on the paper. That's a good thing. There's a big chance that you now have around two to three minutes of text. There's really nothing wrong with that because what was in your head is on the paper now. You've written it down so it won't bother you again while writing. It's out. And now you can begin to edit and kill all your darlings. Tip number three. Ah, e e e e e e e Ida. Yes, Aida. It's a beautiful thing. Let's take a look at the Aida model. Awareness, interest, desire and action. But what you see very often in, in those too long explainer videos, it's awareness, interest, more interest, even more interest, even more interest, even more interest, desire, but nobody's looking anymore, action. I know the client wants to stuff in and there's a product manager who wants to stuff things in, but, but try to keep it short and simple. It's in a favor of the viewer, less is more. And besides that, if you put too much interest in your video, you will be giving away too many answers. Think about it. At the end of the video, you often will hear the voiceover say something like, for more information, go to blah, 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 blah. But what if you have already given away so much information that there is no reason anymore to click? And finally, tip number four, local information overload. Do you know this term? Me neither. I made it up myself. What I'm talking about here is that sentences are often too long. Take this sentence, for example. Scientific research shows that 65% of the pupils who live in the north of the UK and who are now in the last year of primary school will, when they join the workforce, be working in jobs that currently do not exist yet. Are you still there? What would you have said if you have sat down with the viewer face to face? You probably have said something like, did you know? that 65% of our primary school children will end up in a job that doesn't exist yet. Well, write that down instead. In other words, it's all about the message and about activating the viewer who, if it's all working well, will happily give you a minute of your time to listen to that message. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a like if you liked it and go to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. And there are tons of them. Go to youtube.com slash voicebooking.com and subscribe. Until the next one. Bye.